hello and welcome back. Namnak, Namnak. Actually, we just saved Namnak. Well, we didn't really save Namnak. He was the evil mastermind behind the Drown Barrows. And now we have him in the pack. And maybe that's how we're gonna explain to the villagers the death of their gods. And of course, the guy we went to save. That didn't go as well. He was somewhat completely insane. But hey. Let's see. Tadok, maybe you're gonna be the first uh, one to receive the no god news. Of mine steals a child. I'm afraid Kali's dead. The chisel nearly falls as Tadok brings his hand up to cover his mouth. A curse on that wretched. Tadok looks up at the sky and gathers his wits. I knew this was possible, even likely when I sent you out there. The fault is with Nimnok alone. He passes you a small pouch of coins and resumes his labors, his expression vacant and haunted. Well, I'm sorry. May the true gods curse Nemnok and curse me for losing Kali. I know. Kali looks like a, a naive young man, so in time he could have been uh he could have been changed. Clearly. Anik, I let's talk. Outlander. Something to say? What? We can't even talk about Nemnok? Unbelievable. I I literally have him in the in my pouch. And I can't talk uh to her about it. Alright, whatever. I'm taking Nemnok. You know what, Nemnok? I do respect what you managed to pull off here. And if you were offered, if you are offered to name this island, looks like we're not. I would have named it Namnok. But. Seems like that's not gonna be an option. Medical supplies! The morale is so bad. I really want people to heal. Wait. Do I need to? Do I need to take them out of active duty? So they heal up? I think I made. What the hell? You must return to the shipyard and connect a target to change the slot? What? That makes no sense. Okay. What is this? A healing crew. Right, 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 right. Okay. What is that? How is it called? Resting crew? It doesn't say. Resting crew, yeah, yeah, it's it's called resting crew. All right, done. I don't particularly enjoy the micromanagement of this, so that kind of explains. So the known sailors are the ones that we have available and probably paying per day. Probably I could just uh, fire some of them actually, <laughs> and uh, we have the people. That really need the time out. Oh, heal rate? Right? Because this is the surgeon. Okay. Not everyone enjoys the micromanagement of it. I think it's cool to have the option, but it should be an option. School of fish? The waters of that fire are, are as flat and Translucent as a sheet of stained glass, and a steady wind guides the defiant along. The scent of a well spiced stew rises from below decks. Irina and Iquik are perched on the gun veil, legs and fishing poles dangling over the water. Caught myself a real prize the other day, Irina says, slipped off my hook though. I kept I keep telling you to use a bigger one, Iquik uh, chuckles, seem to recall that Dark-eyed barkeep in Queen's birth slipping off your hook too. Oh boy. I'm sure Irina will land the real price someday. 
Irina smirks and laughs. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Captain. Not if the fool doesn't... Who doesn't invest in a better tackle? All I'm saying, Aikuk says. But Irina has stifened. You see that? You look, a dark shape moves uh, under the water. It's almost at the edge of the horizon, but it's rapidly approaching. Irina stands. One of the Galavanes spawn. It's coming right for us. A cast defensive worst. Yeah. Save the ship! Do it! With arms spread wide, so did Chance weaving defensive magic across the hole. Jo joke on uh, everybody, because that has like a range of 2 meters. The surfacing beast is about 30 feet of scale, spines and sinew. It looks like an enormous shark, except for the wicked rows of spines running along its body. Each looks sharp enough to cleave a man in two, or puncture the hull of the ship. The beast rams into you. Your ship shudders, hurling it quick into the mast. The sailor slides to the deck. I'm moving. We lost morale! So injured! Throw a grenade at it. Fire old cannons. Get us out of here! The deck thunders as your crew rushes to their stations below. Chipotec spins the wheel, bringing the port side of the ship around to face the monsters just as a plume of water rises from the sea. The surfacing beast is about 30 feet of scales, spines and sinew. It looks like a normal shark except for the... I already read that! Your crew fires off a volley just as the creature comes uh, within range. Water erupts as their shots converge and the beast disappears. What? You see no blood, no bits of sea monster, nothing to indicate your crew hit the creature. They hold their breath. The beast rams into you, your ship shudders, hurling Ikwik into the mast. The sailor slides to the deck, unmoving. Get the fuck out of here! Chipotec grabs the wheel and wrestles it clockwise, orders ring out across the deck as riggers dance across the lines. The Ravager surfaces again, tearing into the side of the ship. We gotta use the wind ability that nobody has! Never mind that! Man overboard, save Vanizzi! Irina runs to the rail, fishing pole in hand, as the Ravager surfaces again. The sailor jabs at the monster, jamming the pole deep into its eye. Nice! As the monster trashes, Irina throws a rope to Vanizzi. Fire the cannons! The cannons unload a volley at the beast, blood and smoke cloud the air, and the creature vanishes beneath the waves. Did it work? After a tense quiet moment, red froth rises in the roiling water. A mangled carcass surfaces like a nightmare, before sinking slowly into the depths. Below you, your cannoneers groan and sigh in relief. That's it? Damn. More injuries? <laughs> okay. What? Yeah, let's go this way. Crocs per island. Shipwreck. Might as well check it out. There is nothing here. I still want to go down first and see what the hell we're gonna see here. Uh, apparently, not much interest. Not many interesting things happen here. We need to go to Cruxper Island. Uh, how's it going on? Wow, someone returned to active duty or what? Oh no, we lost the guy. Well. How many guys we actually need to? Uh, navigate this ship. Cannoneer. I guess we don't need that. What do we need? <laughs> What's the... 
Minimum crew five. Perfect. We're not gonna use more than the minimum. No sailors, get the fuck out of here. Old battlegrounds. Oh, this is the Croxburg Island. Silent Dwargas. We lost a man. Don't know who. <laughs> I can't feel bad. Never learned their name. They're just sailing my ship. Totally injured. Never have a time off. I totally assumed that they're gonna heal by themselves, but... Um... I was wrong. Whoa, really? Panther. Hey, Panther, what's Ready up? Mercenary monk. Mo Silent Vorgas. Yeah, that, that's good. That terrified them. Actually, never mind that. Hit the silent workers as well. Makes it easier to do AoE attacks if uh, my team is in the distance. Hit me again and I'll hit you back. So we got the, well, the eligible for the bounty, for the Dwargus. Eh, whatever. Eh, nothing here. Sure. That was pretty disappointing. I just get out of here. Alright. Old battleground. Oh yeah, I, I, f I forgot to click on this thing. Wait a second. Royal Deathfire Company, Takabna. Okay, we're taking a time out to kill Takabna. Oh, we're using the medicine. How? What we be using the? How did we use the medicine before? I don't know. People are injured, they are spending some time here. Actually, I'm keeping an eye out on, on the guy that only has one day left. Come over here, Takabna. I have a bounty on you. Let's close the quarter and attack him. My thing is, wielded injured pirates, well, my injured crewmates, try to be part of this fight now and will they get sent themselves in trouble i really hope not because that's I i'm doing the whole thing so they are no longer injured i don't want them to get injured i can deal with people by myself wow what okay apparently no one showed up Help me out. A lot. Constantin. No, no, no. They didn't show up. That's great. That's perfect. That's what we want. That's a, that's a lot of guys there. Wow, really? Okay, maybe we need to mitigate the damage they are dealing. I need to terrify some of them. Okay, they're terrified. Not that much use to anybody now. I can terrify more of them. Let's terrify them. They're terrified. How about just do a... A pillar. And the guys on the right. It's a bit crazy. Halogena, hold him there. Ooh, that hurt a lot of people. 
I am sorry about that, pal Gina. Takabna. Yeah, just stay there, Takabna. I uh, just chill, okay? Red Tie and Sailor. Do they have some good stuff? Oh, legendary light armor. I like it. Legendary medium armor. Okay. Please tell me. Legendary Arcubus. No, that's more like it. That's a huge upgrade. Because I do have a, a lot of weapons already. But what I don't have is a legendary Arcubus. So this... The crew didn't get into this fight. Perfect. I do recall seeing them pop up. At least before we got the companions. So maybe that's why. Anyway, we need to use the legendary Arcubus. That's gonna be a big improvement. 32, 42, 35, 46. I said, well, it's superb. Like, it's only gonna get a little bit better, but yeah, it's still an improvement. A lot of legendary gear. I'm a little tempted to go for a legendary robe. Like, that's pretty good. Legendary light armor, actually. Like, this, this, this legendary light armor is just really good. Well, she's ranged and she can jump away, so... Legendary robe is fairly effective. Let's see if we can get away with it. Legendary, well, it's not light armor, it's... It's called light armor. Still light armor. Hmm. Never mind that. Should, should he use legendary light armor as well? That's acceptable. I think at this point, the uh, armor is just less valuable, because... When you start out the game, uh, you have like weapons that like, like this, like they do like 15, 20 damage. And equipping a heavy armor at that point basically halves their damage. But as the ge as the as you find better gear, you have see like 35, 47, uh, 35, 46, and, and things like this are hitting you. Plus the might modifier on top of that, plus other buffs. So. It doesn't matter as much if you have uh, 7 damage reduction, or, or 10, or even 13. Like, of course, it, it's gonna reduce the amount of damage you take a little bit, but it's not gonna be as significant percentage-wise, of course. And, and partially because that many of them actually have a lot of penetration. So even if you're using a, like armor like this, and you get hit by a quarterstaff, it penetrates the whole thing. And if you're using a heavy armor, it, it might just not penetrate the whole thing. Like, look at this, penetration 13. Like, literally, it doesn't matter what kind of armor you're using. It's gonna penetrate the whole thing. So, not the best. Anyway, uh, let's go toward there. Not sure how I'm gonna deal with this. Maybe I'm gonna go up first. More out working with injury. Okay, he doesn't have injury anymore. Deckhand. Also, we should pay attention to their preferred slots. Did it say? Uh, did the lock say when the guy healed up? Or did I just not pay attention? Okay. I don't know. Not sure how I feel about it. I don't really like this uh, way of exploring. I, I guess. Like, it kind of reminds me of action RPGs. Like, just scanning them up for stuff to kill. And that's kind of how it feels like. 
It should be more like uh, Sid Meier's Pirates. You, you know the map, you know where to go, and uh, you just you just do it, I suppose. Whatever is relevant, that's where you go. And I would love to capture ships. Sid Meier Pirates was awesome. Asungo. That, that's one of the places we need to check out. That's quite a big port for such a tiny settlement. Ugh. Wow, discounted items 50%. Resolve, max health. I don't think we need a lot of extra rice, but hey, let's just buy it. Let's not be rude. He's giving us a great deal. And, uh,. Can't argue with that. Wait a second. We got a Crocsburg captain? You wanna die? He hates me, no? He doesn't wanna attack me. Attack! Let's go. I think I'm using this mod that, uh... Makes close to board, uh, deals zero damage to you because, uh, and, and cause no injuries and whatnot because you can literally do the same thing, uh, basically all the time if you go for the text adventure. So, I just, I, I would rather have this, uh, fight, this, uh, with this gameplay than the text adventure. I'm just making sure that none of the sailors are gonna help me with this fight. I can scare them a little bit. Also, we've gotta make sure that it's not the pillar. I should probably... Make the pillar T. And make this thing... The same button. I don't wanna accidentally do a, a freezing pillar in the middle of my team. Still got it. Oh, they're just getting murdered now. You have a captain? Croxpert, sailor, whatever. Oh, we got a slaver. Hey, you want to die? Yeah, these guys have nothing. Unfortunate. I don't even know what, what it really means that the crew has high morale. I never had it, but apparently they are not... ...really trying to overthrow me. One matron, one matron, uh, Doriga, slavers, bloody anchor junk. Daily wages. Let's attack him. Whoa, what the hell? Some ogre is re leading the party. Oh boy. Okay, time to terrify some people. Did they interrupt me? I look like it. Well, no, they're terrified. Maybe terrify more people. <laughs> terrify people are pretty much useless. <laughs> and at this point, it's just clean up duty. Yeah. 
Okay, who's charmed? Oh, nobody. They're all dead. Yeah. This is the only time the Mura goes up. So, we still need to go to Croxpur Island, Asongo, Donage. Yeah. Isn't he part of my... Now, question is, can we actually replace the crew? While, while we're in the port? Or can we replace them like this as well? No. You must return to a shipyard at Nekataka. Holy crap! Why only Nekataka? That's a long day. That's a lo long time to heal up. Injured for so many days. Okay, I, I suppose... Uh, I didn't do it for a long time. Linen sails. Uh, what? Flag. The Watcher of Deerwood. Colors. Sure, I can change the colors to Principi, Rafik Redbeards, Wana. Now I'm just gonna go with the Watcher. I suppose uh, you might be able to change the way you get reputation purely based on the flag you're using. Wait a second. Oh, this is a clock. This is the Croxpur Island. This is small. Smaller than I expected. Oh, that's Croxpur. So we need to go to the shrine first. Alright. I have a feeling that we're gonna end up killing a bunch of, bunch of slavers. You know this is a small pavilion containing a large weathered statue of stone little ways off the path. It appears to be a Juana shrine. Uh, well, approach the surrounding... Well, uh, search the uh, surrounding area. Uh, you do it. The statue and the surrounding area is clean and maintained. Locals likely visit the shrine frequently to keep it that way. You look around but don't see anyone nearby. Let's approach and identify it. Okay, you do it. The craftsmanship of the statue is remarkable, but time has worn down its features. You cannot discern who this shrine was dedicated to. Leave the shrine and continue your travels? Well, we're gonna, uh, not gonna desecrate the shrine just because of that. Oh, we need to sail into Croxper, right? Oh, okay. I'm not gonna desecrate the shrine just pointlessly. What's the point? I don't get it. I'm not really fearing the wrath of gods, but like it's just a, such a waste of time. Croxburg! We're finally here. I wonder how Empora works, actually. Because I, I know about the fact that it uh, replenishes half your resources. But I don't know about, uh, like, making one attack or one particular ability or attack stronger. Self-fall. Ah, you there. Psst. Love some. Chance a gander this way. A trader with some burnished skin and straw-like hair loosely pinned in... To a tumbling rat's nest, waves both hands eagerly in, to, in your line of sight. 
glance in her direction. She cracks you a knowing smile and rocks back on her heels, waiting a heartbeat before she speaks. This close you can see how her nose and cheeks are dashed with freckles. She turns her head to the side and you get a good look of at the puckered scar that curls from her right temple and down the corner of her lips. Thought that might catch your attention. Why? Now then, you must call me Seafol. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, madam. Madam, she thrusts a callous hand out of out for a shake. Have a look, see. You won't find a grander market for your labor needs than Crooksper, nor finer illusion wares than mine. You the contact? That I am. She scratches along the uneven ridge of her scar. Do you my station here. I've spied signs of illegal activity. Oh, <gasps> you wouldn't say. But slavery is illegal in the Deathfire. Oh, or slavery is legal in the Deathfire? Is it not? Is it? Enslaving people of the Deadfire is illegal. It's the selling of slaves from elsewhere that isn't. Oh, I get it. If we could free the natives who've been detained before they're carted outside of the Deadfire, the illegal trade would be exposed, weakening the entire trade. Oh, I wouldn't want that. Moreover, we'd ruin Ferrante's ploy with the slavers, whatever it may be. Ooh, she smirks meanly, rocking her scar across her cheek. I'll do what I can. You'll find the natives, the illegal stock, deep within the fortress, kept from sight. There's roots to the inside, but most stand heavily guarded. Got it. You may have better luck sneaking in through the sea caverns dotting the shore. One of them leads into the fortress. Got it. I've got a skiff ready for the slaves you send out. We'll make stiff. fast for deadlight. A stiff? A skiff? She winks, fl flirting with the thought of a dangerous getaway. After that, who but Andra knows? Maybe I'll see you around Dunwich. Maybe not. I have my eye on you. Okay, so we probably should just wait till the morning. The morning. Oh yeah, I clicked on the right button. But I didn't want to rest, I wanted to wait. I suppose I could have chosen to wait. Okay, now it's the morning. What about merchant guy over here? Care to have a look? Yeah, show me what you have. Right away. Helm of the Falcon. Wow. Minus 20% recovery time with 200 melee weapons? Uh, that's actually a good way to increase the... The DPS. That's not bad. Grave Colin. Plus 3% freeze damage for 60 seconds on hit, stacks 10 times. Ah, uh, that's not too impressive. Legendary heavy armor. Plus one armor. Plus 15% recovery time? Wow, that's... that's terrible. Chance to stun attackers for 2 seconds when hit with a melee weapon. Uh, okay? This is just for the super tanks, but I actually like the Helm of the Falcon. Let's buy that. Oh, Watcher is gonna have it? Sure. I guess. Alright. What do you use? Illusion power levels. Uh, that's actually pretty damn strong. Uh, you don't have a helmet? Do we have a spare helmet? Looks, looks like the helmets are rather rare. What about the falcon helmet that I just bought? Oh, it's Feed Watcher. Okay. What do you have? Perception, religion, and insight. Um, okay. That's kinda not what we want. Soti, how you feel about perception, religion, and insight? And 
and uh, how you feel about the Helmut Falcon. Alright, that's what we're gonna go with. I really don't have helmets. Oh, I'll give her a bad run. What else we got here? Oh, so we have a proper fort here. What have we here? Oh, we can sneak in. Black Pearl. So we can sneak into to the Cruxburg Caverns or just come and uh, enter from the front door. Uh, I can Time steal. You there, approaching. The guard sneers, fat lips peeling back from his yellow teeth. He grunts, muscles flex and pop in. His thick set neck as he cranes for a better look at you. You are late. The auction is almost over. Then hurry and let me through. If anyone is to hurry, it should be you. I grow tired of opening and closing the gate. His chest heaves as he cranks the winch to raise the heavy grating. Take care that I do not drop it as you walk beneath. I'm here to buy some slaves! Oh, I'm watching that one. Phenoma. Uh, at last we reach the culmination of our lot today. I want to buy some nice piece of ass. You got you guys got some? A stiff-backed woman gestures widely with her arms, gathering the crown the gathering the crowd a hair closer. Excitement simmers and amid buzzing voices and the low rattle of raffia hand fans. Anticipation hangs in the air. Then, with a flick of her prim vest, she hastens the final slave to step forward. Final? Oh boy! Really? He's strapping ugly faced Mistborn, chains and the planks of the stage rattling with each of his heavy steps. Feast your eyes on a fruit most rare. Oh, godlike. The auctioner lips curl in a cruel smile. Bellico. We'll open the bidding at 800 pies, 800 pies, 800 right here, and 850. Who'll give me 850? 875. I'm at 875. I'm at 875? What? How are you at 875? She points to the various bidders who raised their numbered fans, never pausing in her lilting chant. What a putrid thing. Well, that's what your mom said. And your face. The words are cutting, but the buyer's fan snaps up eagerly. We've got 875 and now 900. Who will bid us 900? You're such a rookie. You don't go by 25. What is that like? 2% increase of the price? You go from like 800 to... Like at least 20%, like 10% at least. Like to 900, 10, uh, 1000. Long... Low growl rises from Seraphon, and his scarred lip curls over his crooked teeth. His blue fur bristles as his head shifts forward, one ear low, the other twitching. Be feasting your eyes on these bare poled scurvy wilted curs, throwing copper down for flesh. Don't suppose we'd be here to send their souls back to your pale armored mistress? His fingers tighten on the grip of his weapon. I hear the Croxburg engages in illegal trading practices. How do we know this man is a native to the Deathfire? <laughs> Stop this madness at once. Surely you can't really mean to sell this man. Bid 900. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, the good question. How is this guy not native to the Deathfire? A hush falls upon the crowd. The auctioner, too, has ceased her chanting. She stares directly at you, silent for a single inhale of breath. Caution, Amika. Those are grave accusations as well as false ones, to be assured. Her mien has grown cold and hard and sharp as a knife's blade. The crowd bristles. I'm from the dead fire. You cannot keep me. Oh, Handsome Eliam. The slave raises his bound hands seizing upon the chance of opportunity. The auctioner titters a cutting laugh. <laughs> Nonsense! Uter bella tonderia! Do tell us then, Posternago, from where do you hail? And I would advise you to be immensely specific. I... 
That is... Oh, boy! I don't have enough! Oh, I almost can make it with the bluff, but I just don't have enough. He swallows tickly and looks to you as if... ...to read the answer in your face. Ah! Uh, did he say Pogokuhara or perhaps Orioki? Orioki? No, he did not. She snaps her fingers toward an attendant who produces a sheaf of papers. Every one of our stock is properly vetted and certified. Healthy, mentally self-sufficient and born and raised outside of the dead fire. Sounds good to me. 900. Our present listing hails from the Deerwood. Now, let us reconvene the auction. Do nothing. Should I attack? That's not too subtle, is it? Do I want to murder everybody again? I do like the, the the option to attack them, but like, is it just too... Too soon? I want to buy the piece of ass to my left. Like, we got some nice ones here. Like, why do I have to bid on this guy? I came too last, too, 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 too late for the auction. This is, this is bullshit. Do nothing. Attack, you leave me no choice. Well... Let's do nothing. For the horns alone, I'd give you 900. Another fan is snapped about, winnowing a raspy chuckle. Now we're at 950. Do I see 950? And I do. And we're up to 975. Where's my 975? There it is. And who'll give me 1000? I bid 1000. Lest you be calling coin on account of some bit of clever you ain't made clear, Cap. Words be coming twixt us out of this. Believe you me. What? If possible, the auctioner rambling chant increases in speed from a drunning excitement, her hand bounces with her words as if riding a beat. The price is up to 1,000 pyres. I was the one who bid that! Why should I bought, buy, bid 2,000? Do nothing. 11,100. 11,100? Do we have two? Can I get to two? Two what? Too steep for my blood. Number 24 shakes his head. I believe I'll mount those horns in the drawing room. What a fine statement they'd make. The one smiles eagerly, gloating. Are you mad? They've medicinal value. The words are choked with outrage, but the bidder doesn't rejoin with a counter. Eleven one hundred. Going once, going twice. I wanna kill people now! Let's do 1,200. And now we've 11. 200 to the bidder with no number. How odd, it's a delightful mystery, Gliente. 11, 200. Do I have three? The bitter eyes you with annoyance, agitated, she taps her fan rapidly against her tie, but ultimately refrains from raising it. 11 to 100 pyres, once, twice, sold to our mystery bidder. Woo! Pyre! Hell yeah! I'm gonna use you for piggyback rides! Look at that, we've gotta pretend that you're a ram, and that's it. Okay, we gotta talk about the rest of it in private. <clears throat> Just got too excited a little bit. I do hope you possess the sufficient funds, for your sake as well as mine. Come here now, we will finalize the trade. Done. Perfetto. Let us close this deal. You wanna die? The auctioner inclines her head to the shackled godlike. You are a first time buyer, Ak. For I do not recognize you as one of our usual patrons. That's right. Are you sure you don't recognize me? I could scarcely forget a face like yours, Aimora. She smirks, but it's thing with uh, appreciation. Before the transfer is complete, you must speak with Master Kua. He awaits in his office, in the fort. Got it. What? Handsome Aliyam, what do you day, say? my lady mistress. Damn right. But that's not what I like to be called, but, you know, that's a good start. Hell yeah. Um, uh, looks like Seraphon is not gonna be a huge fan of Seaweed. Does my, uh, relationship bend down with him just because I bought a slave? I suppose it really shouldn't. It really shouldn't yet. Only if I keep the slave. I just try to be sneaky, for now. As much as I like the, hey, you guys are bad guys, let's kill everybody approach. I, I do, I do, but, um, I... Maybe I just end up doing that quite a bit more. 
than I would like. I, I would like some conversation as well. So we explored the whole Croc Spur uh, fort. We need to go inside this fort. We can also go to the dungeons. Maybe we can actually check out some uh, prisoners there. Anyhow, this is a good time to take a break. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.